In tutorial 2, Trit and Trite, the trinary numeral system has been discussed. In this video, I will explain how to convert a decimal value into a balanced ternary value. The trinary numeral system is often referred to as the ternary numeral system. The ternary numeral system has two types. The balanced ternary system in which a trit has the values minus 1, 0 and 1 and the unbalanced ternary system in which a trit has the values 0, 1 and 2. When we speak of a base 3 numeral system, we often refer to the unbalanced ternary system and not the balanced ternary system. In a balanced ternary system, instead of using the values minus 1, 0 and 1, we can use other symbols such as the letter T, 0 and 1, or the minus sign, 0 and the plus sign. For example, an unbalanced ternary value can be written as 1, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1. You can replace the minus 1 with the letter T. Or you can replace the 1 values with the plus sign and the minus 1 values with the minus sign. When converting any base n number to a decimal number, remember that the most left value is the most significant value and the most right value is the least significant value. To convert a base 2 value or binary value to a decimal value, this is the binary value 1101, 1101. This is base 2, base 2 base 2, base 2, and this is its position, position 0, 1, 2, 3. You go from right to left because this is the least significant value and this is the most significant value. If you calculate this, you will get the number 13. Let's convert a base 3 value or an unbalanced ternary value to a decimal value. This is the ternary value, 2, 1, 0, 1. 2, 1, 0, 1. This is base 3, base 3, base 3, base 3. This is the position 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the least significant value. This is the most significant value. Let's convert a base 10 value, a decimal value, to a decimal value. This is the decimal value 6389. 6389. Base 10. Base 10, base 10, base 10. This is the position 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is the least significant value. This is the most significant value. And if you calculate this, you'll get the same decimal value. To convert a decimal value to a balanced ternary value is a two step process. Step 1 Convert the decimal value to a base 3 or unbalanced ternary value. I will give you two examples. The next step, step two, convert the base three value to a balanced ternary value. And I will show you how this is done. This is step one. Let's convert the decimal value 345 to a base three or unbalanced ternary value. Write down the number 345. This is the dividend. The three is the divisor. This is its remainder. And this is the quotient. This is a long division calculation. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. The 4 is this 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. The 5 is this 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. I take this remainder and write it over here. I take the quotient and I bring it over here and I divide it by 3. This is the remainder. I write it over here. I take the quotient, write it over here and divide it by 3. I get the remainder. I write it over here. I take the quotient and write it over here and divide it by 3. This is the remainder. I write it over here. I take the quotient, write it over here and divide it by 3. This is the remainder. Write it over here. I take the quotient write it over here and divide it by 3. This is the remainder and write it over here. When the quotient is 0, this process stops. 
So this remainder is the most significant value. This remainder is the least significant value. So this value 1 is this value, this value 1 is this value, this value 0 is this value, etc. So you write this from left to right, from most significant to least significant. The base 10 value 345 converted to a base 3 value is 110210. Let's do it again. Let's convert the decimal value 142 to a base 3 or unbalanced ternary value. We take the decimal value and write it over here, divided by 3. This is its remainder, and I write the remainder over here. I take the quotient, write it over here, divide it by 3. This is the remainder, write it over here. I take the quotient, write it over here, divide it by 3. This is the remainder, I write the remainder over here. I take the quotient, I write the quotient over here, and divide it by 3. This is the remainder, I write the remainder over here. I take the quotient, I write the quotient over here, divide it by 3, this is the remainder, write it over here. When the quotient is 0, the process stops. I write down all the remainders over here, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, from most significant to least significant. So the base 10 value 142 converted to a base 3 value is 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. I have demonstrated step 1, convert base 10 value to a base 3 value. I have converted the decimal value 345 to its base 3 representation, that is this value. And I have converted the decimal value 142 and converted to its base 3 representation, which is 12021. Step 2 is convert base 3, unbalanced ternary value, to balanced ternary value. Decimal 345. So this is the base 3 representation. But we need to reverse the order because, in an unbalanced ternary value, this is the most significant value and this is the least significant value. So we need to reverse the order. 0 is this 0, and this 1 is this 1. The next step is to convert this value to a balanced ternary value. This is done by adding 1 for each trit value 2, which I will explain next. Let's play a silly game. The game rule is, when the number 9 appears in the decimal number sequence, add 1. If the result value is 10, write 0 and add 1 to the next column. Please remember, decimal values have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 9 is the highest number, and 0 is the lowest number. All right, this is the game. This is the number, 4, 5, 8, 9, 0, 1, 9, 3. Everywhere you see the number 9, you add a 1. So we start from right to left. 3 plus 0 is 3. 9 plus 1 is 10, but 10 doesn't exist. So you write a 0, a 1. To the next column, so 1 plus 1 is 2, then 0 plus 0 is 0, 9 plus 1 is 10, you write the 0, you add a 1 to the next column, 1 plus 8 becomes 9, but when the number 9 appears, you need to add a 1, so 9 plus 1 becomes 10, you write the 0, you write the 1 to the next column, 1 plus 5 is 6, and 4 plus 0 is 4. I hope you understand how this silly game works. It will be used later in a different context. So let's add a 1 for each trit value 2. The rule is when the number 2 appears in the number sequence, add 1. If the result value is 3, write the letter T and add 1 to the next column. To remind you, unbalanced ternary values are 0, 1, and 2. 2 is the highest number and 0 is the lowest number. And the balanced ternary values have the values t0, 1. Instead of minus 1, I'm using the letter t. So we need to convert this number into its balanced ternary representation. Everywhere we see the number 2, we need to add a 1. But we do the calculation from left to right. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. But 3 doesn't exist. You need to write the lowest number, that is 0. 
but instead of zero, we write the letter T, and we need to add a one to the next column. So one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one. So this is the result, zero, one, T, one, one, one. The decimal value 345 converted to a balanced ternary value is 01T111. Again, let's convert this base 3 value to a balanced ternary value. We need to reverse the order, so this one is this one, and this one is this one. Next, I will explain how to convert this value to its balanced ternary representation by adding 1 to each street value 2. Let's do it again. This is the number 12021. We need to convert this value into its balanced ternary representation. Everywhere we see the number 2, we need to add a 1, as you can see over here. We start from left to right. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, but 3 doesn't exist, so we need to use the lowest number, 0, but we need to use the letter T. Then we need to add a 1 to the next column. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 doesn't exist, so we take the lowest number, 0, but we need to use the letter T. And we need to add a 1 to the next column. 1 plus 1 is 2. But when the number 2 appears, you need to add a 1, so that becomes 3. 3 doesn't exist, so we take the lowest number, that is 0, but we need to write the letter T. And we add the number 1 to the next column, that is this column, and it will become 1 over here. And this is the balanced ternary representation of this number. The decimal value 142 converted to a balanced ternary value is 1t1t1. One T, one T, T one. How to convert a negative base 10 value to a balanced ternary value? For example, the decimal value minus 345. Step A. Remove the minus sign and convert the decimal value 345 to a base 3 or unbalanced ternary value. I've already demonstrated this. The next step is swap 1 with t and t with 1. Or simply said, multiply each digit with minus 1. So this 0 is this 0. This 1 becomes t. t becomes 1. All these 1s becomes t's. The decimal value minus 345 is the same as the balanced ternary value 0t, 1t, t, t. Another example, convert this decimal value, minus 142, to a balanced ternary value. Again, remove the minus sign and convert the decimal value 142 to a base 3 or unbalanced ternary value. I have already demonstrated this. The decimal value 142 is the same as this value. Next, we need to swap 1 with t and t with 1. So 1 will become t, t become 1, 1 become t, these two t's becomes 1, and this 1 becomes the letter t. The decimal value minus 142 is the balanced ternary value t1, t11, t. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.